We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today, and happy Halloween. You know what I'm saying? I know you guys all have your costumes ready and your trick-or-treat bags and everything else. Well, I have a crazy Halloween story for you guys, and it's concerning Wendy Williams, okay? If you guys don't know, Wendy Williams is currently trending number one on Twitter, and a lot of people started contacting me, texting me, sending me tweets and everything else. Top my tea, Wendy Williams passed out. I've been running around doing errands and stuff like that. So at first I thought it was like just kind of a joke or something funny or, you know, just I thought it was something fake. And then when I watched the video, I was extremely shocked to see her, you know, pass out. And I know a lot of folks are clowning her and a lot of folks are laughing. And she eventually came back and said that, you know, she, you know, got really hot because of her costume and the lights. I want you guys to watch the video that's going viral right now all over social media. Check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. How you doing? Halloween uh, costume contest. We do it every year. It's always a lot of fun. Let's get started. Our first caress. <gasps> that was not a stunt. I'm overheated in my costume and I did pass out. But you know what? I'm a champ and I'm back. All right, so you guys just saw the video, and when Wendy came back, she said that it was not a stunt. Her costume overheated, um, but she's back. She's a champion. And later on, her show released a statement on the Wendy Williams Twitter account, and they stated, Wendy Williams is feeling much better. She overheated because of her heavy costume, makeup, and lights, and she was able to finish the show in true Wendy spirit. Thank you all for your well wish. Meanwhile, Wendy's personal representative, they also sent an email to BuzzFeed and they stated Miss Williams fainted on the air this morning. She is dehydrated. So she is on her way home for a good day and a night's sleep, said the spokeswoman Ron Torson. She has been examined by a medical professional and as well, she is okay and will continue the show as planned. She will address this on air tomorrow. She has never missed a day of work and looking forward to November 13th on her 1500th show. So that's what they're saying. And like I said, a lot of folks, you know, were real concerned. And once they found out she was okay, of course, the jokes came, the gifts, the memes. I mean, let's keep it real. That, that damn fainting spell was a damn gift gold, okay? But I do want to take it on a serious note. Um, watching her faint kind of troubled me. And you guys know if you've been on this channel for any length of time. And I'm not trying to make this a whole me too. I fainted too. No, this is facts. Um, if you guys remember, I did my August Alcina video back in like 2014 when August Alcina ended up fainting on stage. <laughs> And I talked about an episode that I had on how to get away with murder. Um, I was going on set. I was going to be one of the jurors. This was before the show even hit the networks. Nobody knew about the show at the time. And you guys remember me posting the picture of me on Facebook. I passed out in the middle of um, breakfast. Really sick. They had me in the trailer resting. The ambulance came. Everything seemed to be okay. Then I went to wardrobe to get changed and get ready for the scene, and I passed out again. And I ended up at Glendale Memorial Hospital. I think that's what it's called, but it's a hospital in Glendale. I ended up there, um, and I ended up in the hospital for a week. And come to find out, my hemoglobin had dropped dangerously low. You know what I'm saying? Your normal hemoglobin should be around a 12. Mine is never that high anyways because I'm anemic. Well, I dropped from what my normal hemoglobin range is down to a 3. And usually you can die if your hemoglobin gets lower than a four. So the fact that I drove, made it on set, you know what I'm saying? The doctors were just amazed, like, you really should be dead right now. And I had to have an emergency blood transfusion and everything. So I'm just saying that to say this. I really hope that Wendy William goes and gets checked out. Because the way she fainted to me, and I'm, you know, and I'm trying not to compare it to myself or to August Alcina. But one thing I noticed is when she was getting ready to say her words, instead of trying to say our first guest, it came out as our first caress. How you doing? Halloween uh, 
our costume contest. We do it every year. It's always a lot of fun. Let's get started. Our first caress. And then the way her eyes bugged out, the way her mouth was kind of twisted, it almost looked like she was having a stroke. And I'm not a doctor, but from what I've heard about strokes, those are some of the things that happen. And I know other people are also mentioning that as well. It didn't look like a normal passing out to me because usually when you pass out, you just pass out. Like literally I was walking to go dump my breakfast in the trash and passed out. It almost felt like an out-of-body experience, and you can kind of hear, but you really can't see, and you're trying to come back too. I mean, it's the scariest feeling when you don't have control of your body, and I just don't want her to just go off of what the medic on set is saying because they're just trying to keep the show rolling, you know, because the medic on set told me I was okay too. Hell, the ambulance came was like, okay, well, she seems okay. That's Hollywood. They want to continue with the show. But when I passed out again, they were like, no, take her to the hospital. And that's when they discovered it was something more serious. So I hope for Wendy Williams' sake, you know, she is an older woman. I would, I hope that she really went to the hospital and got checked out afterwards. I'm sure she's not going to say that um, because, you know, that's, that's HIPAA laws. It's privacy. It's nobody's personal business. But I really hope that she went to the hospital to make sure that her iron was okay, that it wasn't a stroke, that her hemoglobin wasn't low because fainting – is not a good thing. It's not something normal that should happen to you because when you faint, you're literally losing oxygen to your brain. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how long you're passed out. It's a really, really scary experience. So I just hope, you know, for her sake, she really goes and gets a thorough examination to make sure that she is very much okay because in Hollywood, they will push you and push you and push you to the brink. You know what I'm saying? They're just trying to get their money. And a lot of it is pressure, too, because it's not just Wendy Williams who's eating off of this show. You have her production assistants. You have the grips, the graphers. You know what I'm saying? The producers, the writers. You know, a lot of people are eating off of her. And that's a lot of pressure when you have a show on your back. So you have that pressure to, you know what I'm saying? If you don't feel good, you better, you know, take some vitamin C and get out there and, and do what you got to do. Like they said, she's never missed a day of work. How many of us have called out? You know what I'm saying? We, I used to miss work all the damn time. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us call out, you know, at least a few times a year. You know, some of y'all be sick and some of y'all just be trying to fucking sip tea and go on vacation. But that's a whole nother story. But for this woman to have never missed a day of work, um, that can take a toll on your body. You know what I'm saying? You have to be able to rest. And then you figure the line of work that she does is celebrity gossip. So she has to be on top of all the latest information and news, which a lot of her team you know what I'm saying? They take that information off of people off the internet, but that's a whole nother topic. But she has to be on top of all that information. So when is she really getting a chance to sleep and rest and rejuvenate her body? You know, so I wish Wendy Williams the best. You know, at the end of the day, like I said, I have no beef with this woman. You know, I just want her to be okay, but it just really scared me watching her pass out because the fact that she couldn't even pronounce the words before the fainting happened makes me feel like it might be something a bit deeper. And this is coming from somebody who has been in a similar situation, but it ended up being something a lot serious than what people initially thought. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.